because Alex did this wonderful story about growing citrus in South Carolina, and I just happened to have an orange tree. <laughs> It just house. happened to. <laughs> just <laughs> We're going to cut my very first, uh, ripe, hopefully ripened fruit. We're going to find out. <laughs> I'm so excited. It looks delicious. It looks orange, as an orange should. And I'm just so excited because who else can even get fresh fruit of any variety in December? Then we have all of these talented, talented gardeners in South A Carolina. Alex, can you smell that? I, mean, I it... can. Oh, wow. This it smells so good. really good. <laughs> I can't believe this is growing in South Carolina. Yeah. Um, uh, shall we? Let me let me cut it one more time. That way we can. Um, I was gonna do this. Are you gonna do that? All. Okay, actually, okay. you know I'm gonna take that one off. Okay. Let's do wedges. And that way, like shall we can have some too. Shelby's behind the camera right now. Hello, everyone. Okay. okay. Cheers to you. Cheers okay. to fresh grown South Carolina oranges. <laughs> Thank you so much for all your hard work on this season. Mm -hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Good. It's really good and sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Now, Alex, you recently did a story about citrus. And yes. how many different kinds of citrus have we seen in the state? So there was this grower um, just by the river who was growing at least 50, if not 75 varieties of different types of citrus. We're not talking 50, 75 trees. We're talking different types of citrus. So, you know, people think like oranges and people think lemons, but there's so many different types. And Columbia and South Carolina aren't places where you expect to necessarily see citrus. But I mean, obviously this is so delicious, but of course you have a big green thumb. You're so modest <laughs> about it, Susan, but you have so many different wonderful plants growing in your yard and this is in your greenhouse right mm -hmm. yeah um, absolutely Susan delicious. what else have you been growing this December uh, I just pulled some radishes up yesterday um, which I'll bring you some oh, thank um, you. they've been in the ground just for a couple of weeks now and I was surprised yeah. that they're actually forming they're about this big and they're nice and tasty Wow and use the greens uh, in a salad along with some lettuce and some collard leaves that I have. Love it. And we even have some lettuce in Katie's garden. So mm -hmm. we have plenty of options to get that fresh lettuce. I just love this time of the year because you can garden and you don't have to worry about the heat. It's true. So you have to worry about the frost, but <laughs> obviously that is not stopping you. We have got literally one of the tastiest oranges that I've ever had. And it's just literally as fresh as you can get. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, last question. If anybody else is growing fruit or does anything else this December, what kind of things should they do to take care of their plants? Well, if you're growing citrus, make sure that you know your variety because there are some that are more cold tolerant than others. You can't just grow any type of citrus. And if you have a more tropical variety, you do want to put it in a greenhouse in a place like South Carolina. And if you're trying to really grow anything edible, even in South Carolina where winters are mild, more than likely if it's outside, you're going to need to invest in a frost cloth at some point in the winter. You're probably going to want to cover that. That's the best advice I've got. And patience. Lots and lots of patience. But it's worth it. I mean, look, yeah. this is what patience gets you. Yeah. Cool. Thanks.